Hello everybody and welcome back to the Isle. I said I was going to be doing a Giga episode, maybe a Packy episode at some point. What is that person doing? No. You can be food. Kill me! I'll F call, maybe they'll swim back out of the water and I can eat them so they don't have to drown. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to play Giga. Now this will take, oof, I don't even know, like six-ish hours to grow to full grown. So, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably not make it. I'll probably die multiple times. But hey, that's how you play the game. Oi. What is that, a little trike, I think? I'm not a Rex, but... Hello. You want to die? Question mark. Um, eat him. It's gonna take a while. There we go. Put a little bit of food on the beach to start off with. But anyways, Gigas take absolutely forever to grow. It's probably going to be a little difficult because Gigas are kind of a lesser Rex in some ways. Um, actually, let me pull out my map for this one. Because they're not as strong, I think, as Rexes. Um... And not as fast, definitely. I mean, good lord. I mean, this speed. This is the trotting. And this is running. Um, not much of a speed difference. A little bit, but... Yeah. But the, uh, the benefit with the Giga is stamina. Not right now, because I'm a juvenile, so I'm pretty much just a useless little, you know, snack for anything that's hungry. But once I'm big and actually strong... I mean, Gigas, they will run you down to the end of the earth. But because it takes so long to grow, this is definitely going to be cut down significantly. So, lots and lots of waiting. Let's see, that's south. Closest water is... There's big things. Southeast. So I want to go that. Oh, the way I was going. Look at that. So this is kind of my first playthrough of Giga. I mean, I've played it once before, died very quickly. The next time I played, it wasn't recording, it was actually just practicing, so I could tr kind of figure out what you're supposed to do as a Giga, so I could do this video and not look like a fool. Um, made it to sub-adult. Right as I grew, I went to get water. I dodged multiple things that were trying to kill me. And I mean, oh my gosh, multiple things. I first made it to the swamp, and a Carno tried to track me down, brought its whole pack to track me down. They were swarming all over. They were standing right on top of me. I was just hiding in the bushes, not moving. And then, oh gosh, Rex family came by. Aloes came by. Then I moved to sort of the outside of the swamp. And I would only go in for water. And I was just hearing AI, scooting around, hiding, moving in the dark, trying to do it super professionally, like how you're supposed to play as Giga. And every time I'd get up to get food, I'd eat, sit back down, and as soon as I sat back down, things would come out looking for stuff, looking for me, seeing my footprints, and they just wouldn't see me because I was lucky enough to find really good spots. But all those things happen, and then I finally go to sub-adult, and I'm like, okay, I can actually take on, you know, maybe a Carno. Definitely Utahs. I can take on a few things. I'm a little bit more safe. And so I went out to get water. And then an aloe pack of, like, I don't even know. I couldn't see how many there were. Just popped out of nowhere. And ate me. So, I didn't quite make it to adult. I barely made it to sub-adult. But maybe... 
was just about to say maybe this run will have some luck, but then I ran into a rock, so we'll see. Oh, I can hear the river. Means I'm getting somewhat close, hopefully. Okay. Wasn't right past that ridge. Maybe it's past this one. You never know. Yeah, I'm going in the right direction. Oh, I think that's it. Possibly. <laughs> oh. The aviary. Oh, so that must mean I'm close. There's, yeah. Can't even speak. Um, it. Yeah, if the aviary's there, and it's close, and there's a big cliff next to it, then there should be a river. Right down here. Hopefully, I'm at a spot where I can get to the river without jumping off a cliff and dying, but hey. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that food. Just because I know the water's close. <coughs> and yeah, there's the food. Morning. Could you make a noise again? Little AI? I really need food. But you're just being silent. Not very helpful. I'll find food somewhere else, I guess. Or maybe I'll starve. Who knows? Ooh, water! I can see it. I know the river is right there. Oh, there we go. Now I can really see the water, so. Ignore the AI. Hopefully, I'll find something along this river. It's exactly where I want it to be because this is right. I don't know if this is. No, this isn't the river in the canyon, but this is a river that leads to it. Especially once I'm sub-adult. Basically, I'm just going to be walking along that canyon, crouching so nothing can hear me. Listening for AI, and just slowly growing. Super boring. But then the fun begins when I'm adult and I can actually run around safely and defend myself. Let's see. I want to go... Not that way, because that leads to... Uh, tempting, tempting, tempting. But no, I want to go... What? Which way leads? Hmm. I don't, I don't like how out in the open this is. I don't have much of a tree line either. I mean... Especially something that starts at my size. Like... It's pretty obvious. <laughs> Can't really blend in with that. I think I'm gonna dart down once I'm at the cliffs. So that'll at least provide me cover from that direction. God, I'm being so paranoid because I don't want to lose this giga. I've only had it for like a few minutes, but I don't want to lose it. See, like that, that sprint lasted from those trees to like right behind me. Not a good ambush on this thing. It's decent if you're getting really close, but then again, once you're a Giga, it's kind of impossible to sneak up on anything. Although, I wouldn't quite say impossible because you'd be surprised, but. Out in the open, you're not catching anything unless you run it down with stamina. And right now, <laughs> I can't kill anything except AI, maybe. 
I wish I were paying attention to which direction that came from. Because, boy, do I need... It sounded that way. I'm going to wait for it to make a noise again. Come on. God, I can't, I can't tell. Do it again. Come on. One more. There we go. So my headphones are really good at left and right. And I mean, like, surprisingly good. But forward and backwards, when there's other sounds in the mix, like this river and the music, it's hard to tell if it's in front of you or behind you this way. Right where I came from. Awesome. Come on, keep making your noise. Oh. Where are you? There you are. And... Ta-da! Food! Glorious food! Oh! <gasps> oh god! Oh no! Oh no! I see it! I see it! What is that? Please don't see me! Please don't see me! That, whatever that was... Utah something could have eaten me real easy. Okay, let's uh, find a little hiding spot. Gain some stamina back. Oh, that was a lot better in my head. Uh, he panicking. There he goes, he's going back, he's going back. Oh god. Yeah, it's in Utah. Looks like it's full grown. Don't want to deal with that. Okay, maybe not that good, but from a distance. It'll block me from those things. I'm going to wait a little bit. My stand's pretty much full, but... Wait a little bit, get up, run across, find some cover, and keep going the way that I was uh, originally going. What's, what's yelling? Can't see anything, the trees. It just sounded close, and I don't know my sounds well enough to know what it is. It sounded predatory, that's all I know. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm gonna risk it. I'm kinda poke my head out. What is screaming? I can see. Is having food right next to water it would be amazing. I just don't know how big it is. It's like the universe is telling me that this is the spot that I should grow, but just my instincts are saying it's too open and oh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to check it out. Why not? It'll keep things interesting. Hopefully it's something small, or hopefully it's an herbivore. And if it's too big, I can just run away. Or maybe. I don't know my kicking noises, but maybe. Just maybe. It's another Giga. 
and I could be friends with it. And it can act as bait for when anything tries to eat us. And I can run and escape. Oh, is that my ticket into the game? Did I miss it? Oh. That's where I am. Oh. So where do I need to go? Okay, that sounds big. And I think it's down in the canyon. My way in is following it this way. So look at that. It helped me out. The universe is actually trying to tell me I was going the wrong way. Well, I would have found it eventually. I just found it a little bit earlier. Now my only concern is these canyons, they act as like a major, what's the word, like highway around the map. Because nothing can just cross them, nothing can go up or down them, so anything going this way, like this direction, anywhere along this canyon, is either going to turn that way or that way. So my concern would be, I'm just going do to do along in some massive pack of something, or just honestly anything at this point, because I'm defenseless, it's going to turn and come my way. Is this safe? Doesn't look like it. I do not like this at all. Oof, I hate that. Shortcut. Is that a way down? Nope. Now, pre planning, I heard that thing down there. So, once I do get into the canyon, I'm probably going to go the same way I'm going. So that leads to the swamp and all that sort of stuff. That's where I'm safest as a Giga. At least according to my research. Ooh, research. I watched one Giga video from, uh, oh, what's that channel called? Lacer. I'll put a little picture. That channel is... One of my favorites, I'd say, because I just watch it and figure out how to play the game. <laughs> um, I think she did a, a Giga playthrough, and they were basically just like this, crouched in the jungle, just peeking around and jumping out at small things. And I can't remember if they survived or not, but all I remember is they were down there in the swamp part. And so that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully I survive. I've done well so far. Unless I just jinxed myself, but hey. You never know in this game. Oh, beautiful rain. Now all I need to worry about is food. Except I can't sniff. Hopefully that Ava was up here. Because if not, ugh. Ava. Where are you hiding? Did you make another noise? Sounds like it's right up ahead. Oh, there it is. Just gotta be sneaky. Hopefully, it doesn't run right off the edge. If it does, I'm gonna be upset. Don't do it. Oh! I've been fallen! Yes! It's a pretty good spot for this to happen, too raining. I have some cover. Well, from that angle, roughly. So Ava didn't put up too much trouble. I am blessed. Okay, bye Ava. Well, I should probably sit 
and wait for the rain to end because my thirst isn't going to go down. So the smart person thing to do would be to just sit and wait, but I don't like waiting, but I guess I'll do it to grow a giga. Okay, the rain stopped very quickly. <laughs> Only went down 2% on uh, thirst, and the river's right down there, so... Hopefully, it's a ledge. I can make it before I die. Which would have been really soon if I hadn't noticed that. <sighs> Very uneventful. <laughs> sitting and waiting. Sometimes you're just sitting there alone for a while. And then sometimes, full grown Rex that doesn't see you just decides to sit down right next to where you're hiding. And you have to, you know, ponder the question do I run? And hope he doesn't see me? Or do I sit here long enough for him to see me? Spooky, spooky, spooky. Okay, this isn't the canyon, which is right over that ridge. But I just noticed this river ends right next to my little path. So instead of hoping not to die of thirst, just did a quick stop. Hopefully nothing's just waiting for unsuspecting prey like myself to walk by. I just realized I was way out in the open, and I hate that. I mean, right now, anything in miles can see me. I should be more careful about stuff like that. <laughs> I'm gonna lose track of where I'm going. Where is this canyon? Did I lose it? Oh no, there it is. I think. I think just over that ledge. Yeah, it looks like it. Oof. Stamina, I didn't even realize. Oh, I'm just not paying attention. Oh, it seems like it's so close, but it's definitely not. Okay, that's enough stamina to at least run to a tree if something pops out. Famous last words. But I gotta keep moving. It's getting dark, and I don't want to lose my way and run off a cliff. Which I have done before. In literally the last episode. Well, not the last one. I guess it was the one before that, but still. Okay, I finally made it to the swamp. Not exactly how I thought I was going to make it. I thought I was going to be in those uh, canyons a little bit more. Turns out I was a lot closer to the swamp than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little close. Thank God it glitched and disappeared, because that's annoying. Now I can see the water. So now's the point where I've made the journey. I've made it the whole way. I survived. I've not really dodged any dangers, so to speak. However... I've made it all this way, now I need to be careful for that reason, exactly. I don't know what kind of carnivore that was, but I do know I don't want to really find out. That's a lie, I really do want to find out, but I don't want it to... Is it dangerous? Oof, there's not really a lot of cover. Here. Oh, there's some cover. Okay. Now the little bit of waiting for it to get darker begins.